Today, we're going to cover the two-way integration between TechMetric and AutoVitals. We'll start with an open repair order in TechMetric. The pieces of information we'll need on the repair order are customer information, generic vehicle information, TechMetric requires at least a year, make, model, and submodel. We added a customer concern, although that is not necessary, and we've added two labor lines, our oil change and our inspection. Next step, we'll need to authorize those two labor lines. Now that we've got our labor lines authorized, this will generate a tile in AutoVitals. We'll hop over there now and start the inspection process. We now have a tile populated in AutoVitals. In this example here, we're going to assign the technician in AutoVitals so we can showcase how the assigned technician is pushed back into TechMetric. We'll do that by dragging this tile to the correct technician. It will change the default technician as well as the technician assigned to each labor line. We'll hit apply. Now we can get this over to the technician to perform the inspection and gather vehicle information. Now the technician can sign in and start work on this vehicle. He'll start by scanning the VIN number. Now that we've got the VIN number, the technician can start the inspection. In this example inspection, we'll select several actions that are mapped to can jobs in the point of sale so that we can demonstrate how they transfer back into TechMetric. Now that the technician has filled out the inspection, they're going to mark the inspection 100% complete, as well as add a note to this labor line in the customer notes field. We're also going to add the odometer reading, both in and out. And we're going to add a license plate. And we'll also take a photo on our vehicle health inspection labor line. Now that we've gathered all the pieces of information that will integrate with TechMetric, we'll head back to the Today's Vehicle page. On the Today's Vehicle page, we can see the pieces of information that we're going to transfer back into TechMetric. We have the VIN number that they scanned from the VIN tag. We have the vehicle information populated from that VIN number. We have the in and out odometer readings. We have the assigned default technician. And we have the technician assigned to both labor lines. We'll notice that vehicle health inspection is marked 100% complete. We have a photo on that labor line and we have a customer facing note on that labor line. We do have the red question mark, so we will need to approve that. We'll go ahead and use the notes image editor now to do so. Now we've got our green check mark indicating that note is approved, which will allow it to transfer back into TechMetric. Now that we're ready to transfer information back to TechMetric, we can use the update VIN odometer button to simply update the vehicle information and odometer, or in most cases, we're going to use the update work order button to transfer all of the information back to TechMetric. Do not worry about duplicates. If you hit this button twice, it will not re-import twice. It will only update information. Once pressed, we'll receive a pop-up stating that the information has transferred to TechMetric. We can close out of that. And now we can move back over to TechMetric. Back in TechMetric, we can see several pieces of information have transferred back. We have the technician, both for the repair order assigned. We also have the technician for each individual labor line assigned. We have the vehicle information filled out with the VIN, vehicle information, and license plate. If we scroll down, we'll see the recommendations from the inspection report have also transferred over. Now all we need to do is add parts and labor. This should greatly decrease the amount of time to build out estimates. If we scroll back to the top, we can also see that there is a hyperlink to the customer facing inspection report. Additionally, we also have the customer facing note that we approved, as well as a hyperlink to the image that we took on that labor line. If we move to the work in progress tab, we can also see that the vehicle health inspection that we marked 100% complete in AutoVitals is also marked complete in TechMetric. One last smaller item that integrates between TechMetric and AutoVitals is the key tag number. If I were to add a key tag number 
in TechMetric. If we then go over to Auto Vitals after entering that key tag, we can now see that the key tag number has transferred from TechMetric and is displayed on the tile for both the advisor and technician to see. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.